Welcome to Boot Logic, the channel that has nothing to do with boots and might have something to do with logic. Pro intro. <laughs> In this episode, we're going to show you how to start mining Bitcoin. With Bitcoin about to hit an all-time high, it's a great time to check out mining cryptocurrencies. So first off, why mine? I truly believe before you invest in Bitcoin, you should understand how it's created, the algorithm it uses, and how to safely store and retrieve it. Mining will school you on most everything you need to know. So when you buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrencies, you'll understand past and present prices, the hardness level, and if mining is a good fit for you in general. The setup I'm going to show you will cost you about $175. If you're looking to earn money straight out the gate, you must understand this is a learning experience, not a way to make a living. A profitable miner will set you back closer to $3,000 and may only generate a few dollars a day in profit. You do not want to jump into that type of investment without testing the waters first. Buy used. Today we're going to be setting up a Bitmain Antminer S9. This miner will do 14 terahashes a second and should run you about $175 and you might even find it cheaper. Currently these miners will use more electricity than they generate in Bitcoin. If you hold your Bitcoin long enough you may see a return on this but again this is a learning tool not a profit making machine. When looking for a used miner I suggest you go to either eBay, Craigslist, Kijiji, or even Facebook Marketplace. When buying used, make sure the power supply is included. These miners are out there and they're easy to obtain. Choosing a location for your miner. FYI, miners are loud and they generate a lot of heat. You need to get rid of this heat somehow. You need to get creative. Maybe use some type of ducting system to expel the heat out a window or run it in your garage. Just keep in mind that you need to put air back into the room so you don't generate a negative pressure issue. Miners generally take 220 volts, the same type of power as your clothes dryer or electric stove may use. So take note of this when choosing a location. I've heard cases of people trying to run miners on 110 volts, maybe trying to use two power supplies. This just isn't a good idea. It may damage your miner, it may damage your electrical system, it could even start a fire. So just make sure you install a proper 220 volt outlet and have it inspected by a professional. So here's our Amp Miner S9. Just gonna quickly unbox it. Make sure you look over your miner that there's no loose connections or cracked boards. So we need to connect our power supply to the S9 miner. There's 10 power connections that need to be installed. And here's what plug we're going to be using. It's rated for 220 volts. Now plug in your miner. Make sure you plug in the ethernet cable. As soon as you connect the power, it'll turn on. There's no on off switch. So we're going to need to set up a wallet. One of my favorite wallets is Konami. I highly recommend it. When searching for Konami, watch out for the ads. This is almost guaranteed a, a bogus site. You're probably going to want to set this up on your phone, but for this demonstration, we'll set up the wallet in Windows. And we're just going to create a wallet. Now all these words here, these are your private keys. You need to write these down. I don't recommend that you take a photo or store them anywhere where they can be hacked. Once you write them down, the software will ask you to confirm the keys. I suggest you do this. Now you just need to enter a password. Make it strong. And you can select what coins you want to store in your wallet. And this is basically your wallet. We're going to need the retrieve address. A 
mining pool is the pooling of resources by miners who share their processing power over the network to split the rewards equally according to the amount of work they contribute to the probability of finding a block. That being said, we're going to have to join a mining pool. One of the easiest pools to get started on is slush pool. We're going to search for slush pool and we're going to enter a username and we're going to enter an email and a password. You can verify all this information under account. Now we need the slush pool address for our miner. So we're going to go under help and we're going to go under Bitcoin mining setup. Under which server should I use? We're going to select the Bitcoin mining URL. And you can just choose an address on where you're located. So now we just need to add your payout address to slush pool. So we're going to go under settings, under Bitcoin and under BTC payouts. In our Konami wallet, we're going to go under receive and we're going to copy this address. And we're just going to add it under payout address and click the check mark. Hit submit and then you can confirm it on your email. So once all that's set up, we need to find your miners on the network. We're going to go to the IP reporting tool from Bitmain. And download it. Once you've ran your IP reporting tool, you're going to have to go over to your miner and push the IP reporting button. The IP reporting tool will give you the address of your miner. You can just type that into our web browser. The default username and password for your ant miner is root root. So under URL, we're just going to copy over the address we got from slush pool. And for the worker, we have to put your username dot and a worker ID. The worker ID can be pretty much anything. Also the password can be anything. Slush pool will create the worker based on the name you gave it. You're going to need to reboot your miner now. Once it's back up and going, just verify that it's hashing. This can take up to five minutes. And that's all there is to it. Now you're up and mining. Thank you for watching Boot Logic. Please leave any comments below and like and subscribe.